Jennifer Campbell here, your online systemic leadership mentor. In this video, I would like to introduce to you a video series about the systemic change leadership journey. If you already download the framework, then congratulations on obtaining your own copy. And if not, I encourage you to do so by clicking the link below. Now, this video series will benefit you if you are a leader who wants to increase their effectiveness and ROI in leading change without wasting time, money, and energy on one-size-fits-all solutions that don't work, specifically that. The Systems Change Leadership Journey is a framework that I've developed based on 25 years of experience in change management and over 10 years of my experience in systems thinking based approaches and also based on the knowledge and experience I gained from speaking with over 85 systems thinking thought leaders. It contains a three phase process that helps you to lead change successfully and create a sustainable organization in the process. Now, just to make sure that you are in the right place, I would like to stress that this framework reflects the exact process that not only my clients use, but also many of the world's most successful leaders of change in their change projects and processes. Now, in short, this is an approach that works in our current and upcoming context of constant change and complexity. Now, as you may be aware, Leading complex change successfully and taking your organization and your people in it to the next level where they can thrive in a VUCA world is really a major problem for many visionary leaders worldwide. Now, according to a recent study by Gartner, the average organization has undergone five enterprise-wide changes in the past three years and they're expecting that this will increase to six or seven in the upcoming three years. Now, in that same study, results show that over 70% of companies use traditional top-down change management approaches that no longer work, and as a consequence, an equal amount of changes fail. Now, there's three main reasons why leaders struggle. Number one they don't stop fighting symptoms instead of tackling the root causes. So they do not understand that they are trying to solve complex problems with the one-size-fits-all solutions they have always used, but they don't work and they cover only one or two pieces of the puzzle. Reason number two is that they do not know how to lead change and let go of behavior patterns in the organization that are no longer suitable given its context and its purpose. So this means they do not address the people side of change effectively and everything else that comes with something so complex as their culture. Reason number three they do not understand how to continuously build the change and innovation capabilities of their organization. I've met many leaders who say things like, oh, we've gone through many changes and we're still here, so we must be doing something right, or we are already agile, and so forth. What they do is they merely survive through a change process, and that is no longer enough. Now, the good news is that if you are struggling with these issues, I'm going to show you a very clear, proven, straightforward strategic journey that you can use right away to overcome these issues. And you'll be able to increase your complex change leadership success by 50% within only a few months. And you will learn how to create massive impact and take your organization from surviving to thriving without wasting a lot of time and money and energy on one size fits all change solutions that don't work. Now let me take you through the three phases in this overview. Phase one is called see the system 
is all about getting to the root cause of problems and stopping the one-size-fits-all solutions. Now, why is it called See the System? It has to do with approaching your organization, the organization that you lead, but also the change method that you use or the approach you have and the leadership model or framework that you utilize differently. And so what's important for so many leaders is making the shift from seeing your organization as a machine that you can take apart and where you just fix parts and then put it back together to seeing your organization as a living human system, a network of relationships that uh, holds complexity. Actually, it's a complex adaptive system or a living human system. Now, once you make this shift, as soon as you put on a systems thinking and systemic action lens and make the shift, then things shift. And they shift in such a way that you actually can no longer take those lenses off. It allows you to take a completely different and much more effective approach to your organization and the complex adaptive system it actually is. And it also helps you to more effectively approach problems in your organization that are actually patterns, not problems that you solve from A to B, but patterns that you need to influence and intervene on. It also helps you to shift leadership that is actually not shaped by individual people who hold a role. Uh, and this may sound confronting, but it is true. Um, leadership is something that belongs to the entire system and it needs direction and it needs to be shaped. And so this stage about see the system is about putting on the systemic lens in your organization, the way you change, and how you shape leadership. In the second stage, which is very much about lifting behavioral patterns in your organization that prevent you from moving forward, and this stage is called share the space. And it's very much about how can you leverage the collective intelligence in your organization and how can you have um, conversations, interactions, meetings, etc., that are actually generative rather than spending time? Or how can you deal with conflict um, within your organization, conflict that is uh, and created into something that is fruitful and also generates more space for things that are new that need to be implemented? Now, what's very important about this is the flow of information. And um, I call it the oxygen flow in a living human system. Information and how freely it can flow in your organization represents how much energy your organization actually has. And um, what's important about that is when you're introducing change in your organization, or when something needs to change, who are allowed to know? Can a process of informing people about what needs to change uh, happen freely or not? So this second stage about share the space and bringing out uh, the collective intelligence is a very important one. Then in the third stage, um, it's, it's all about building the change and innovation capabilities that your organization needs to actually thrive in a VUCA world. And it's called Shape the Shift, this third phase. And this is usually where many organizations want to go. Um, this is where self-organizing teams or wanting to be agile um, or dealing with um, digitalization and having technological advancement, this is where all the hypes come up. And usually these are where organizations and leaders and professionals all want to go. Um, but actually they do so by skipping the previous two phase phases that I mentioned. And then it fails. So it's very important 
to have the groundwork in the first two phases before you can move into really building strong and sustainable change innovation capabilities in your organization so that you then are able to continuously align with all that's happening within your organization and around your organization and in its industry. So the three phases, see the system, share the space, shape the shift, are part of this uh, systemic change leadership journey. And as simple and powerful as this strategy may be, the most important thing you need to understand is that very likely your current leadership and change approach are only small parts of a much more effective change leadership strategy. And so what you're looking at here is a proven framework that we use to help visionary leaders increase their complex change leadership success by 50% in terms of effectiveness and ROI within only a few months so that they can have a massive impact and take their organization from surviving to thriving without wasting a lot of money and energy on hypes, on one-size-fits-all, change management and leadership methods that just don't work. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you want to hear more about the systemic change leadership journey, then stay tuned because in upcoming videos, I will share with you more steps within this framework um, and you can have a more thorough and in-depth understanding of those. Now, if you want to get crystal clear on the one thing that you should be doing right now to increase your change leadership success, then book a call today. And this call is going to be with me it's free, it's no obligation call and in which we will go through the framework and really assess where you and your organization find yourself in this journey. We will also discuss how you'll be able to implement a journey, work with the framework and shape effective change leadership in your organization and be more effective and increase your ROI on your change projects. Now, please note that we offer this call to visionary leaders who lead change in their organizations and who find themselves struggling with getting to the root cause of their problems and who want to stop the one-size-fits-all solutions. Uh, it's also for those who experience uh, behavior or organizational culture patterns in their organizations that prevent them from moving the organization forward and also for those who want to understand how to build the change and innovation capabilities that are needed to thrive in a VUCA world. So if any of this sounds like you, then book a call by clicking the link below. Thank you so much for watching. See you next video. Bye-bye.